and shame comes up time and again in the book. You know, you don't you don't go into you know you, you Robin Crawford, who was her best friend and and creative director, and her lover for a very very short time in their lives. Um, but that's the part that everyone wants to always talk about when you talk about Robin. But you talk about the shame that was surrounding her in regards to that very short lived relationship. Um, you talk about obviously the shame. I'm sorry. Go on. Yeah, I'm I agreeing with that moment. Yeah, because it's yeah. such a it's a it's such a I think an important piece because she never escaped it. We spent the entirety of her life asking about that, and then we also when we weren't doing that, we were asking her to defend her relationships everywhere. I mean, I can't think mm-hmm. of another artist that had to go on national television more than once and defend their choice of husband. And yes. it seems crazy to think about now because we would never do that to anybody. We would yeah. never sit and, and, and at, well, Beyonce's not going to sit and do an interview with us. But again, if she was, <laughs> we're not going to sit and ask her, so why did you choose Jay-Z? We just are not, we're not going to do that. We don't do that yeah. to people. Even this yeah. moment that Kim and Kanye are in right now, when Kim was with him in the beginning, there was not that constant, yeah. constant, constant need to explain it. We did it to him, of course, mm-hmm. because we thought, a particular way about her and her family, but there was something about watching a woman who was in love with a black man have to then defend that. Actually, y'all told her that she wasn't black enough. I mean, I still, I never got over it. <laughs> I'll be yeah, honest. exactly. You can see my level of anger at that mm-hmm. because I just actually thought it was absurd. It's absurd yeah. to think about that's what we wanted from her for the entirety of her life. Even once she was out of the relationship, then it became well, why this, or why that, or why are you doing this? And it was never celebrating the music. It was always about, well, why can't you sing the way that you sang I Will Always Love You in 1992? Yeah. 